Now let's talk about site to cloud. What is site to cloud and what is the problem? So the challenge that we are solving for a lot of customers is, is, is connecting the on-prem branches to the cloud. So when it comes to connecting those branches to the cloud, um, the, the standard solution is to build the IPsec tunnel. But, um, but building the IPsec tunnel is, is not easy. If you have done any, uh, any configuration in the, the IPsec space, you will know what I'm talking about. The troubleshooting and all those things that goes with it is extremely difficult. And the IPsec solution that you find there are, are limited and they are very cumbersome. And there is no like central place where you can manage and uh, operate those uh, branches and connect them to VNet. Okay. So the solution that we have allows you to connect any site, could be on-prem data center, could be a remote branch, could be SD-WAN branch, or could be a cloud that you want to connect to another cloud. That's uh, something also possible. It supports NAT, uh, so you can do source NAT, DNAT, and it can also support overlapping IP. So we have a solution for that. Okay, so the idea is very simple. So what we do basically, we build the encrypted connection from our gateway towards the, uh, the cloud location. Uh, could be a Cisco router or Juniper, doesn't really matter, right? So we manage this end of the tunnel, right? So this is our gateway, we manage the end of this tunnel, but we also provide you a configuration template that you can apply to your remote branch for this uh, IPsec connectivity. We support both TCP and uh, UDP. And like I mentioned before, if you have a use case where uh, your IP addressing scheme is overlapping, let's say if you have a partner here in San Jose branch, he is using the same IP address scheme as the second partner in, let's say, in Frankfurt, um, then you can easily use the, uh, the technology we have to solve the overlapping IP problem. Many options are available. This is our Aviatrix gateway. This could be a standalone gateway or it could be a transit, right? So you can connect to transit and once you are connected to our transit gateway, then you can go to the uh, destination that you want to go to. And uh, if you, if not, then if it is a SaaS based service that you are uh, providing to your clients, then um, your objective is to just bring them here in this isolated VPC, that's also possible. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I discussed. And this solution is, by the way, is active active. Okay, so this is all active active from the on-prem. So you deploy two gateways here, two here uh, in, the, in the transit VPC side, it will build the active mesh tunnel back and forth. And that's how we are actually going to provide the connectivity. 